Today, we talk about... So, welcome guys. Thank you, uh, good to be here. I still don't know what episode we're on. I say this every episode. Uh, I'm still behind in the edits, but we will figure out the title when I finally get this up. Uh, welcome back, we got more special guests. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Hey, I'm Allison <laughs> Wien. And I'm Case Watson. And we are two-thirds of. Thank you for your service. Yes. Yeah, thanks for coming, guys. It's a shame your third partner in crime couldn't make it, but yeah. uh, I'm sure you guys can vouch for her while, uh, while you're here. Shout um, out to Danny. <laughs> so, yes. But, uh, yeah, so I wanted to start by asking about that. So I know we briefly talked about it on the other podcast, mm-hmm. but uh, when did this start? Or actually, why don't we start with how you two know each other? You take it. Okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, as I like to say, well, we met doing a, uh, a web series together, mm-hmm. uh, and I just, I remember the moment that I saw her <laughs> for the first time. She was rocking this sexy black leather jacket and matching boots. I have since lost that jacket. <laughs> oh. And, uh, and some kind of bag full of nonsense that I wanted to be a part of. Great. And, uh, and she just strolled in, and I was just like, mm, dips. Uh, (laughs) mm, and uh, and, uh, then I courted her uh, via Facebook or no by a text message and I was like hey friend crush like what's up girl (laughs) and uh, and then I remember you said you responded something like oh well gee oh well that's nice and then a little little bashful emoji and I was like it's on girl (laughs) we got this in the bag (laughs) And that's were, my recollection. Were yeah. you guys doing that um, just mutually? You, you found, or not mutually, but uh, individually, you guys found yourself at that place, not knowing each other existed, and then here we yeah. are. Right? Yeah, we were just in a web series called Binge, and um, we like had to improv a lot on set. Right. Were we? We were doing a song, right? No, I was doing a song with someone else. There were so many improvised songs, <laughs> but um, like a bunch of nonsense on camera, mm-hmm. um, and we felt like, oh, it's too bad that our characters don't get to see each other more. Like it was really fun shooting this one scene with you, and then I found out like, oh, she also lives close by. Like happening, like yeah. <laughs> friendship confirmed. Yeah. Let's hang out. And you are from Alabama, you said, right? Yes. Where sir. are you from? I'm from New Jersey. New Jersey. Okay. And then here we Not are. Too far. Magic happens. <laughs> Uh, and then is your so your background is in video you said uh, I work as a film and TV editor right and yeah. how about you what's wh- what's your come up like um, I pretty much I'm trying to do acting all the time I'm is in, that what you went to school for or? yes okay. I went to NYU oh, and okay. I have a BFA in drama um, I love Shakespeare I was in an off Broadway show called Drunk Shakespeare for nice. three years <laughs> it was really fun she's great met a lot of great people, yeah, and then I just decided, like, let's try new things, um, and I have since been in a murder mystery company, and, like, a bunch of little projects here and there, web series, things that we're writing. Mm-hmm. She's trying um, a couple of national commercials as well. Oh, nice. Well, <laughs> right? voiceover work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So there's one that you can actually see me in, where I'm a mom, breastfeeding an infant. Yes. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> But it's for yogurt. (laughs) So there's no connection between the breast milk and the yogurt, you guys. Let's not get (laughs) weird, okay? It's just appealing to moms who are cool and breastfeed in public. And I'm like, what's up? Here I am with my baby and my boob out. I don't care. (laughs) That's my brand. So you guys, it's interesting listening to both of you now. Because obviously I had spoken with you before. Now meeting you, it's like... makes so much sense you guys are like besties <laughs> um but uh I'm, I'm noticing a pattern where both of you have like this comedic banter like built in to you sort of so it, i mean because obviously your background isn't stand-up comedy but you're doing comedic theatrical work i guess right so Definitely. maybe that's the connection mm. a lot of people group. have said that we have good mojo yeah like basically that the group Somebody once said, like, we function as an organism. <laughs> like, you guys are, like, a one a Symbiotic thing. relationship. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. See, I'm the, I'm the math science guy, so I'm, I make it all nerdy. Um, now, with the, with the current stuff you do for Thanks for Your Cervix, that's been going on how long now, total? A little over two years. A little over two We've years. We've been together. Okay. And you guys just briefly mentioned to me, you do it around here somewhere, right? Yeah, we performed at UCB West. Is that what mm-hmm. it's called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's like one a monthly thing or weekly or what? Oh, that was just like an invite one time. We did a, a cage match. <laughs> yes, an indie cage match. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah. Uh, but hopefully we're, we'll get another spot there soon. We also do shows at the pit. Oh, that's right. You mentioned that. Yeah, yeah. that's our, our primary venue. That's your main. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Like oh, I yeah, said, wherever else. I've, mm-hmm. I've, uh, I've done, I'm assuming you guys are doing like the main room, right, for the pit? Uh, the striker, yeah, the big stage. Or... I wouldn't even know because I've never gone there. I've gotten the attic to do my, uh, you know, small little stand-up sets. But, I have only been yeah. to the attic when it is non-active and it's a little weird. It is kind of weird, yeah. It's just a dark room <laughs> up a little. I'm like, hmm, I don't want to be here alone. Yeah. I didn't know there was an attic. Yeah, see? It is, it's like the, the small staircase that you like kind of veer around to uh-huh. it's, it's kind of weird is but I don't know actually you guys would probably know better than me because you've been around it a lot longer maybe you can ask and let me know we That'd should be... haunt it <laughs> <laughs> and that, sure actually just reminded me uh, what about your third partner in crime where does she play into this did you Damn. guys either of you know her beforehand or how did that come I knew it? her mm-hmm. um, Danny and I did murder mysteries uh, before this kiddo and came she along. got me into the murder mystery. Uh, okay, Did I? Okay. Kind of, sort of. I mean, I mean, I went to an audition no because deal. of you. Oh, wiener. <laughs> and I was uh, like, I know Case. Let me in. <laughs> Did you say that? Let me in. Yes, you <laughs> um, So, uh, yes, Danny and I auditioned the same day, and uh, I had a crush on her as well. Um, and uh, she, we were supposed to embody a character of our own creation mm-hmm. our own uh, conception mm-hmm. and uh and she did some kind of like like kind of mickey mouse thing and it just kept, kept going like this and, blah, blah, blah. and then finally the she, she just was like going on this beautiful little thought train oh, wow. um yes all the way to disneyland and back except for not back and uh <laughs> because they had to stop her and be like okay thank you danny and she just kind of was like oh, oh sorry <laughs> it was like a 180s <laughs> shift uh, Oh, my <laughs> but we both we both got in, and uh, and then we didn't get to know each other at first. So fortunately, when when cervix came together, uh, I finally got to get it in. Nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So how often are you guys? Oh, go ahead. What? Well, we totally left out Daddy Paul. Daddy Paul. Daddy Paul technically brought us together. He did. Um, our lovely friend Paul Valenti was. Uh, aware of all of us yes. in existence mm-hmm. and sort of said you guys would be great why aren't you a writing team why don't you guys try doing things together mm. and so like our very first meeting was sort of facilitated by Paul mm-hmm. he said and we call him Daddy Paul because it makes him feel uncomfortable yeah I was going to say is that, <laughs> is that his nickname for himself or what De- you guys absolutely is? not oh, yeah, he okay. hates it so much <laughs> but uh, uh, we, we should just, get him a plaque we should. Daddy Paul. Um, yeah, does yeah. he have an office? You could uh, just surprise him. He probably has one in Connecticut. Yeah. He's I don't know if it's worth the commute. Maybe. maybe. Maybe not. Uh, <laughs> He's uh, worth the commute. <laughs> <laughs> 